Strictly speaking, I've no vacancies at the moment. We might be able to come to some particular arrangement. Are you Mrs. Faraday? Who wants to know? I have a letter from Mrs. Faraday from Dr. Jekyll. Oh, Harry Jekyll, eh? Are, are, are you... Yes, 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 I'm Faraday. Keep your wool on. Come inside. Dear old Harry, ever the good Samaritan. Required in the House of Commons, Sir Danville? Oh, I imagine they can rub along without me this once, Mrs. Faraday. And vice versa, I shouldn't wonder. Sir Danvers is one of our most prominent spokesmen on foreign affairs. Aren't oh, she, Sir Danvers? Oh, you're too kind, Mrs. Faraday. Got any questions on any sort of exotic customs? Sir Danvers is your man. <laughs> oh, perhaps I've been a bit hasty. No, no, no. She's not even an apprentice. Not yet. Oh, pity. Mary! Yes? Uh, I look forward to meeting you in due course. You will rub along for as long as you like, Sir Danvers. For as long as you can manage. I'll say this for Harry Jekyll. He may ask for a few special services, but he doesn't mind paying tough whack. So I'm to say your answer is yes? My answer is always yes. I have my obligations, tell him. It'll take me a week to clear out the present tenants, then I'll need another week to make these alterations he's asking for. Then his assistants can move in. Can't say I've ever noticed him in need of any assistance. Well. Well? She said yes, but she said she needs two weeks to get it ready. Hard on my young man. No hardship to stay away from that place. He's robust enough, and he needs to live within easy reach of the hospital. Where is he living at the moment? Why do you ask? It's only that no one in the house has seen him. He tends to come and go during the night. Now I think that will be all. 